As time ticks by, be prepared for highly offensive language and adult themes, including intemperate discussion of mental health issues, which some viewers may find offensive. Grievously, a nomination cash bomb went off. I'm going to nominate Nick. Sam. Harry. Jack. The prize fund now stands at £48,400. Do not Do bring me into you. your nomination. Get rid of yourself. But there was a twist in the teal. The highest bidder will pass their nomination on to Chloe. That's what I bid for the point. People's true colours are starting to emerge. Tonight, Big Brother's cashback offers heat up the house. Big Brother will provide housemates with opportunities to raise the prize fund. I mean, serious pain. <laughs> Which housemate is the biggest game player? Joel. You do push for actors off people. Yeah. If you've got a problem, say it to my face. Just because you don't need the money doesn't mean every fucker in the house don't need the money. Hurry, I'm having a discussion. Can you see so that? You're so manipulative, though. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, you but do. you do you care when time. people do it to you. You're a fucking moron. How fucking dare you, Harry? It's turning us all into selfish bastards. Day 56, at 43 a.m. This week, housemates are taking part in a series of tasks that raise or lower the £150,000 prize money. So far, they have lost over £100,000. Big Brother is about to give housemates a rude awakening. This is Big Brother. Housemates yeah. have 60 seconds to grab their microphones, put them on correctly, and get seated at the living area sofa. Oh. 60 seconds starting now. Oh. For every housemate not seated on the living area sofa in 55 seconds, £1,000 will be deducted from the prize fund. Oh, fuck! Let's not stay in bed. I said they'd just get up to that fucking minute. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Go, Sam, go! Nick! I'm getting up. Get up! I am. Oh, is he still not... Oh. Okay, I'll roll up 30 seconds now. Well, this is different. Yeah! What's going on? Where is everyone? Oh, my hat. No, no! I've got time, I've got time. No, you haven't got a hat. You've not got time, Jack. You have 10 seconds. Guys! Hey! This is nuts. Hey. Seven, six, five, oh, four, Sam, Sam. Go, go, go. Three, go, 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 at £45,900. In fact, Big Brother will today provide housemates with opportunities to raise the prize fund. At various times, Big Brother will call housemates to the diary room and offer them a challenge and a golden envelope containing an amount of money. If housemates pass the challenge, the money is added to the prize pot. You are now free to leave the living area. Right, back to bed for, yeah. for now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. Eleven forty-six a.m. Sam's getting a haircut. Big Brother has called Harry and Nick to the diary room for the next part of today's task. 
Oh my god. Thank god for that. <laughs> Dick. Did brother noticed I needed rescue? What about me? Big Brother has a challenge for you both. As you can see, there's a golden envelope. It contains a financial figure. It could be £100, it could be £100,000. If you'd like to raise the prize fund by the amount written inside the envelope, you must complete Big Brother's challenge. You two inseparable housemates will be separated. <laughs> Big Brother has issued a restraining order. I'm excited. Until further notice, you two cannot be in the same room together. I'll go first. No, I'm going If one first. of you wants to enter a room or the garden, the other must first leave. Are you going to miss me? Lots and lots. <laughs> <laughs> also, Fantastic. neither of you can get into bed. Oh. One of you may stay in the bedroom, but you cannot get into bed. <laughs> It's only a joke in the diary room. I'm showing off. Why do I'm you it's well, stop showing off at my expense? Why would you use me to show off? I That's feel, really bad. I feel brave in here. I well, I know you feel brave in here, but why would you show off at my expense? That's disrespectful to me, don't you think? Okay, maybe I should get out of here. One worry. of you may now leave the diary room. No, I told you I was going first. I know, but I was close to the door. No, I'm going first. No, I'm not. No, because I'm, I'm going out the door. No, I'm going out. Brother, intervene. I'm going first. Can I stay in this room? <laughs> Me and Nick are not allowed to speak to each other. We're not allowed to get in bed together. We're not allowed to be in the same rooms. But I'm pissed off that he's disrespecting me. Who's disrespecting you, Nick? Yeah, because he goes in the diary room and he's like, oh, like, thank fuck for that. And then I'm like, what? And then he goes, oh, it's just banter, it's just banter. And I'm like, well, no, it's not really, because you make out all the time it's all me. When it's not, it's 50 50. One thirty eight p.m. It's been one hour and 51 minutes since Big Brother issued Harry and Nick's restraining order. Come on, get up. Mm -mm. Harry. No. Mm. Tell her to go to the story. Yeah, and we'll go for a bath. I've got to stay in here and then you tell me how she's doing. Yeah, right, you stay here. I'll tell her to go to the storeroom so that you can go to the bath. Yeah. And I'll come and join you in the bathroom because I'm bored. Yeah. Harry, Nick needs you to go to the storeroom, please, so he can go to the bathroom. No, he can wait. Huh? He can wait. Oh, I'm just passing on a message. Well, you can't pass messages between us. That's the whole point. Well, sorry, all I asked was could you go to the storeroom for one minute? Just remember what your letter said. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't do anything, can I? So I'm just going to yeah, well, sit you here. You can come in there. Nick's in the bedroom. No. Let him ca crack on. Don't isolate yourself. Well, everybody always says that Nick always hangs around with me so he can take this opportunity to hang around with everyone and I'll sit here all day. Nick, is she upset about yesterday's decision still? No, she's upset about the fact that when I was in the diary and saw the restraining order, I went, Big Brother's come to rescue me as a joke. And fucking had a bit of a laugh at her. Yeah. She just doesn't take it very well. Maybe I was a bit of a dick, but... No, you weren't. That's fine. That's it's funny. Just a, it's what you meant for a bit of banter. Yeah, yeah. I know. You know what I mean? The missus, yeah, yeah. Nick, that's what I'm always like. I know, yeah, Nick, but Nick, Nick, Like, push well them away a bit. Yeah, but well yeah. done, Nick. It's fun. Just for ten seconds, can you go in the tiny corridor for him to go to the bathroom? I don't think that's unfair to ask. I don't like to pass messages, but he can't come and ask you, do you know what I mean? Well, I don't want to. Why? Just leave me alone, please. Hi, I, I, can I say, I'm, I'm going to leave you alone, but I think that's totally unfair on him. OK. So why are you doing it? Cos I want to. Well, isn't that selfish? Yeah, I'm a selfish bitch. I'll uh, be totally honest with you now, right? Gave you a letter yesterday, right? Not, I didn't give it to you. I took someone else's letter because I thought you really needed yours. You did really need yours. What did it say in your letter? That's a personal letter between me and my sister. Of course you. it is. But I gave it to you because I really thought you needed your letter. OK, your letter but said, Don't big, lie brother, down all big day. brother, big brother have made a task whereby I have to do this, so that's what I'm doing. You don't have to lie down here all day. Yeah, I do. What, is that what they said? 
Not allowed. I'm not allowed to lie in the bedroom. I'm not allowed to lie anywhere else because that's where Nick is. Nick right, so wants Nick to spend all his time with you, lot. So when Nick goes in the bathroom, right, by himself, or if I might go in there, you can come in and chat to the group on the sofas. No, maybe I want a bath. Well, go and have one then. Maybe I will. I, I know you think I'm in the wrong room. I just want to go for a bath. I know, but I, all I said to her, I never said you're in the wrong room. I said she's upset at the minute because Jack Gwynn was like, it's fucking selfish. It's just better to just leave it. This isn't what it's meant to be like, guys. Well, Nick goes to the this store is not and what it's meant to be like between me and Harry. 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 It's Harry not how it's meant to be, Harry. Harry. Yeah. And you have a, what I thought was maybe a bit of banter, right? And then this happens. This is not how it's meant to be, Chloe. Do you know what I mean? Nick, Every... what if you go to the store and Harry just goes to that one door there and then you go out? She's not going to move. It's just not fun like this, guys. It's just stress all the time. We just yeah, you, argue you know all the time. It's just... We're saying you're not... You, no-one's got a gun to your head. That's all I can say. What do you mean? Like, if you're upset by stuff, then you need to sort it out forcing you to be in this situation. Yeah. No, like it's sit not... down and tell her or squeeze do... No, it's just like it goes so well and then it can be literally me thinking I'm having a laugh. Maybe I shouldn't have had a laugh like that, but this can be so much easier sorted than like this, you know what yeah. I mean? Coming up, take a weird tantrums. You always go against what everyone right, says. Do it, you will always you do it, go against what everyone says. It's a tea, says. where a Hold tea? on, hold on, what everyone else says. I am my own person. And Big Brother turns up the heat. I'm so sensitive to spice, please. I need, I need some more milk. Ah! Big Brother is giving housemates the chance to add money back into the winner's prize fund. Christian, Chloe and Jack have been called to the daily room. Chloe, Big Brother has a challenge for you. I'm having heart palpitations already. I don't even know what it is. Go on. As you can see, there's a golden envelope. Yeah. It contains a financial figure. Right. If you'd like to raise the prize fund by the amount written inside the envelope, you must complete Big Brother's challenge. Yeah. The challenge is to eat an entire Scotch bonnet chilli. Come to go. Right, I don't even eat chicken tikka masala. Evil people! Do you accept the challenge? I love chillies. Look, I'm quarter Indian, mate. I will kill it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm shitting my pants. Bon appétit. Go, my God! Oh my god, big brother! Oh my god! I swear to god, steam's coming out of my mouth! Okay, can I get some more milk? Holy hell! Ah, it's burning my mouth! Oh my god! 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 Ah! <laughs> My lips are on fire. Something bad's gonna happen. What you can you get? I'm in serious pain. Please. I'm so sensitive to spice. Please, I need, I need some more milk. Okay, that is actually hurting my stomach a little bit. Big brother, I need some more milk. I'm being serious, please. <laughs> okay? Is that good? Am I done? Is that it, Big Brother? Please. I've done it! I've done it! You may now open the golden envelope and read out the amount. Is that it? Is that all we get? <laughs> 2K. 95 pounds. Five pounds. Are you happy? No, I'm fucking fuming, literally fuming. I've got steam coming out of my mouth. I'm gonna be sick, my lips are on fire. When is it gonna, when does this end, big brother? What do you do, Christian? What did you do? Ate a great big fuck off chili. How much was it worth? Two, two grand. grand. Oh, Christian. Yeah, chili. Yeah, chili. Oh. Fucking fiver. 
It's burning my face! I can't eat anything fucking spicy! It's burning my face! <laughs> Six twenty-eight p.m. For the next part of today's task, Big Brother has delivered a feast of fast food to the house. Housemates must choose whether to eat the takeaway or add the mystery amount of money inside the golden envelope to the prize fund. Right, who votes that's that we stupid. should eat it? I'm undecided no, at the moment. No, that's stupid. I say, I, I'll, I'll do it. whatever it is. Who votes? Okay, then. Who votes we shouldn't eat it? Don't fucking no. eat. Imagine that. Two, three, four. I'll do whatever. Matt, it's down to you for. Well, no, I know my vote, and I'm not going to eat it. Fair enough. Yeah. So that's yeah. no win. I'm just tempted to eat it. I want to eat it, but Mate, no win. Mate, so you'll eat one or two, and then you. Can feel you imagine full? how much you. how shit you'd feel? I want to eat that because I know if they put if there was a huge. Crack on then, Billy Big Boy. Crack on. Eat it. Crack on. Don't do it. You do always go against what everyone right, says. If I do it, will you, you do it then? Well, yeah, it's I'm a team. Where are we team? Hold on, oh hold on. God. What everyone else says. I am my own person. Yeah. I go came on, into this room not knowing what was in here, saying if there was a financial thing, I'd want to eat it. So what's your what's your opinion now? Okay. Now, I it, want what? to eat it. I respect the fact if no one else wants to, fine. I, I respect whatever the group decides the other day, but I'm putting a counter proposal that if there is, say, five, ten grand in there and it gets added onto that, there's no reason why they just won't take it away anyway. They'll just say, oh, you've lost ten grand for doing this. They're going to fuck with that no matter what we do. Well, I don't down. understand why people have to be awkward. Like, we should all be I'm in this together. We're in the last process yeah, together. I We're agree. arguing over food. No, you know what? I respect Respect everyone's group, but in my view, I'd eat it. I'm fucking starving. I'd eat it. We, but we the group is not starving. You just walked in there with a big lump of bread, food and butter. I mean, it's a bread. You've got a fridge and cupboard full of food. You're not starving. I bread. Oh, Co -co. What I could do with some good food. At the food. end of the day, we thought we was going to have fucking eggs for dinner anyway. Exactly. So we're, we're gaining money out of anything. So all in favour not to eat the food. Yeah, that's, so more just, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We respect that. Yeah, brother, I respect that. Fine. I totally respect that. Six to two. So let's, oh, six let's, to two. let's not argue, guys. Come on. Would one housemate stand up and reveal the group's answer? Oh, uh, no, we're not going to eat the takeaway. We accept the challenge. Open the golden envelope. No, you know it's going to be shit. And read yeah. out the amount. Oh, well, if it is rubbish, we'll just eat it then. Uh, don't don't matter. care. <laughs> it'll, be anyway, it'll be a high amount. I think it'll be a high amount. 100 quid. Cool. Why Let's eat it then. Don't Let's eat care. it now. What no. are they going to do? Because we failed the task. You can eat all that next it's week. Look. I respected your decision, no, we, I accepted it. So We respected it. So I listened to what you said. I don't see what people haven't got with it. Oh! That, Big Brother that causes will well, now bad. add £100 to the prize fund. Can we choose yeah. not to have it and to eat? <laughs> 100 quid's a lot of money to some people. Oh, Can we just bear that in yeah. mind? It's a lot of money to me, oh, but in this oh, situation, Oh, Harry, don't different. start with that, please. Oh, my God, I ain't even starting with that, Joel. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, I know. Cool. 100 quid up. Sorry, I'm not allowed to have yeah. an opinion. Coming up, Nick slits Harry. Sometimes you lie around a bit and sometimes you do complain and sometimes you get angry and sometimes you say you want to leave. And Danny and Jules cash clash. You also, you said you don't need the money. Yeah, I said... Other people might need the money, yeah, absolutely, Joel. That's a selfish act. No, it's not, because what I'm saying is, Danny, if you, in, Just because you, you really don't need think? the money doesn't mean Avery Fuck or anyone else don't need no. the money. Seven thirty-three p.m. Danny, Christian, and Harry are talking about Joel. For some reason, it just feels like Joel wants to argue about everything. Yeah, yeah. I think Joel's been selfish, to be honest. Just because he said he's not asked about money and he don't need it because he lives at home and he's got fuck all to pay. That's what I'm saying, like. And then he, he kind of brings up the fact that oh, what? So you think you're going to win, do you? So what? They think that, if someone thinks they're going to win, so what? <laughs> I must admit, I'm people, not, not people's it, selfish it. sides are really coming out now. Yeah, that Sam, really Chloe, Joel and Jack are talking about their decision to refuse Big Brother's takeaway meal. I'm always like, do the right thing, do the right thing. That's my mum's like drilled it into my head. And to me, the right thing would have been to come together as a team, be strong, not touch it and just hope for the best. But if a it team we voted we to wanted. eat it, then we would have eaten it. If a team we voted to eat it, would oh, you yeah. have it? Yeah, of course they would. If we all said, fuck it, let's eat it, then I would have went, well, if, if we've all said yes. So would you Would you have still then said you didn't right, think? But would it you was, have still it said was, it wasn't the right thing to do, no, even if seven of us said yes? But it was a majority vote. We were all, that's what the discussion was about. No, I'm not... 
What's the, ar what's the argument now? I know, it's I not an argument. I know, I mean, no, I mean what's the point of this discussion then? Yeah. What I'm saying is... is oh, it... you're so patronising and manipulative, Joel. Like, like, this... That's not fair, Chloe. No, that's, Chloe, how, that, that's, that's how I feel fair. right now. I don't know why you keep going and going and going. Going at what? It's done. I don't know why, I know why it's you're done. I'd rather... I'd rather... Joel, there's nothing that can be done. What why are you then saying is, I'm patronising and manipulative? Because you're going on and we're both just sat there and what do you want us to say? He's going I've got on. Really I don't want Chloe, else I'm to say trying a bit. to get to I'm trying to say and I'm drawn to know Why what people's honest views are. I'm not trying to argue with people. If it's interested, because I guarantee, I honestly think, if there were five of us, right, who had said, you know what, guys, I think we should eat it, would you have said, oh, yeah, we, I think we should eat it? Then we'd have been outnumbered. But wait yeah, there, no, but, wait there, okay. Chloe. I had two sides to make. So you would know? you have voted to eat it then if you, the majority said If the majority said, yeah, would've. but then I would have felt shit after it. And then I would have even felt even more shit if we and opened then? that envelope. And there was 50 grand or 40 grand, because I know I'm not going to win. Because that, that, just, proves, that, that, just, that just proves then that you would sway you regardless with the majority. Would, Jack and I have said, we put our hands up, we would have eaten it, we still would have. What you're saying is, if the majority was, we would have eaten it, you then would have voted to eat it. Which means yeah, but that this is what I'm you, saying, you will sway Joel, back This is why forth. I can't be bothered. You know? well, Joel, because you're just, you're, oh, you're you so see manipulative that? though. Hold on. You're almost I've... trying like trick me to go one no, way or the other. you just admitted it, Sam. I'm not saying that. You've well, just I, said do it. Do you know what? I, can, I just can't argue with you've you. You've just said it. You're just, you're you've just, just get, said it, You're just Sam. getting on my nerves today. Sam, you've just you're said just it. You're just trying to be hard work. You're just you've just said it. purposely to get under my skin. You've just said it. Oh my God. What's like, <laughs> What's going on? Love a good for fuck's sake! He ate the food. Would you have ate the food? Okay, then if you, if you if he never ate the food, he's trying. He's just going. I said. Well, he keeps coming out with oh, little equations, really yeah, scenarios, scenarios, different no, scenarios. Yeah, but he's just, really lying me. Just at us. I can't believe him there. Watch him come out now. He's coming out now. Fuck off. He won't say out to you. It was so unnecessary. He's trying to ask a scenario to make you answer a question and then come from that and then say, "Well, hold on a minute." Exactly. Do you, you know what right. I felt like? I felt like I was away. in court. I was sitting in that little box bit, and he was the defence lawyer, and he was trying to purposely trick me to say something so he could go in on that sentence. It's because he's oh so good God. at it. You've got to be careful was... what you say. Yeah, because he'll trick you up and make you look bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's awful, then. That's awful. What? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking no, to what? Sam. Is it about me? Yeah. No, we're not talking about you, Joel. No one said your name, Joel. No, but Joel, we're you not said, talking. You just said it was about me. <sighs> I'm not okay. We'll just drop it no, now. Just say okay. it to my if somebody face. else, if I'm not saying problem, it because it's not what say, I said. Please say it to said my you're manipulative. Manipulative. In Is what that way? The right word? Yeah. Some, it was said. Don't argue with him because he'll just try and trip you up. And I said, well, that's awful. That's what I said. But I'm not arguing to trip people up. If I've got an opinion, I'm going to say it. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, Joel. Yeah. I don't know why Sam's in a Why said it, Joel? Why said it? You're probably doing it, trip him up. I said, don't let him get you to say things. You're not what you you argue to people, right? And you get them to say, like in a court, you get them to say things. No, but do you know what Sam said? Hold on, I'm talking. Hold on, I'm talking. And you get them people to say things that they don't really want to say. So I said to him, ignore you, uh, ignore you, and just come away from the argument. Otherwise, you end up saying that you're saying something that you don't want to say. Yeah, but I, I wasn't tripping people up. If I wanted to trip people up, I'd use yeah, big but you words come up, or whatever You come else. up with scenarios that are never going to happen... Well, it could have happened to tonight. ...to get people to answer them. It could have happened but tonight, But it didn't, Sammy. Joel. So you don't yeah, need to come up with things that yeah. are not even well, relevant. It didn't. But what it proved was that Sam will go either way. You're just creating other situations. Huh? That's what it proved. What for? Proof what, what I said was, I said, Jack and I are quite open. We would have eaten the food. Now, you yeah. might have hated us for that. That's fine. Well, I said we I said I would have eaten the food. We respect. But also, you said you don't need the money. Pardon? You also, you said you don't need the money. Yeah, I said... Other people might need the money, yeah, absolutely, Joel. That's a selfish act. No, it's not, because what I'm saying, it is. Danny, if you, is... Just because do you, you really don't need think... the money doesn't mean every fuck everyone else don't need no, the money. No, Danny, do you really think that Go Big... On. Do you really think that Big Brother... What? Will... If Big Brother wants the winner to walk away with zero, the winner will walk it away with matter, zero. doesn't matter, mate. If we all are that absolutely fixated on boosting the winner's prize fund... Can I just interject there? We're not fixated, because you went in there and a piece of a two and a half grand, no one moaned. Yeah, and that Nick I said that was a mistake. Nick put me up and stabbed me in the back. That was a didn't mistake. Didn't moan about it. So I'm just saying we're not fixated on make, raising the prize fund because... We were tonight, though. That's, no, that's the one thing we've t we've moaned, we've got into an argument about and you are gunning for it. You go, you just keep going. For what? Joe, Joe. You're we we, no, making out that we're money it, mad. Can just because we, we turned up, we can have a burger next week. That's not a big deal. Can we just drop it then? Yeah, 100%, Fine. yeah. Yes, honestly.
9.31 p.m. Christian is explaining things to Jewel. People don't think you are manipulative. No, people, people think that there are times when I can be yes. manipulative. So why haven't people told me that before? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I think. Because maybe, yeah. it's, maybe Joel, it's a straw that's broke the camel's back. It's tiring getting in an argument with you. It's tiring for the other person because Why we're is not it? as talented at debating. I'm not talented at debating. Well, you are, Christian. No, 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 I, yeah. I don't think I am. Right, okay. But comparing it to you, it's tiring and everyone else, that, that is what people think. Well, you know what? You know what? Because we wouldn't need hard. to be sat here if people were just honest. There's many occasions where somebody has to do something until you, just, you make an opinion of someone. You can't do an, make an opinion of someone off one occasion. Mm. Does that make sense, Joel? Mm. Big Brother has called Nick and Harry to the diary room. Hello, Harry. Hello, Nick. How does it feel to be reunited? Oh. Amazing. <laughs> How have your days been apart? I've had a, a, yeah, had a good day. Nick's had an excellent day, seeing as everybody winters that he always spends all his time with me. He spent his whole day with the rest of the group without me, and I've sat there and not had to clean up after him, and not had to follow him around and fucking do all this shit for him, so it's been fabulous. I think we should continue with it. What are your thoughts, Nick? <laughs> Loved it, you know. Got to have a great day. It's all about having great days in the Big Brother house. It's just another great day. And even more fabulous day when you've not got me just breathing down your neck every five seconds. That's what you think. That's what you said. You both did a good job of respecting the restraining order issued by Big Brother. You may now open the golden envelope and read out the amount. There's a however. You can tell on his voice. There's a however. 50p. 50p. Oh, wow. No, 200 pounds is a lot of money, Harry, to some people. How does it feel that you prostitute yourself out for the day for 200 pounds? To get away from you for the day and 200 pounds. <laughs> bonus. I know. Yeah, proper Fabulous. bonus. <laughs> 10.39pm. Big Brother has gathered housemates for the final part of today's task. Big Brother viewers have been voting in a series of online polls relating to the housemates. For every correct answer, housemates will raise the prize fund by £1,000. Would Jack stand up? Your question is, which housemate is the biggest game player? The three possible answers are Danny, Joel, Chloe. I'm going to go for my answer on based on decision. I'm going to go with Joel. And I just feel like the only reason I'm going to say Joel is because sometimes you do push for answers off people. Um, just to maybe sell, maybe make yourself look um, a little bit different. As I say, sometimes when you were saying, oh, I wouldn't take the money, I'd win, to me that looks like you might be playing a game in order to make yourself look better, which is why I'd answer with you, Joel. But you know, obviously I don't think that, mate. It's just out of the free, I'd say yourself. You chose Joel. The housemate deemed to be the biggest game player, as voted for by Big Brother viewers, is Danny. <laughs> Jack. As you gave an incorrect answer, the prize pot will not be increased. Sorry, guys. Jules' question is, which housemate is the most desperate to win? Jack, Danny or Chloe? I, I would say Jack. Um, the reasons why I would say that was, I think it could be perhaps interpreted um, that Jack may have signs of, of wanting to win, and rightfully so. Um, he's in a contest, as am I, and everyone wants to win. You chose Jack. The housemate deemed the most desperate to win is Jack. Joel, as you gave the correct answer, Big Brother will raise the prize pot by 1,000 pounds. 
Chloe must decide which housemate was voted the least trustworthy. Jack, Nick or Joel? Unfortunately, sorry Jack, I'm going to have to go with you as I believe that um, for the last eight weeks you've been one person and this week you seem to have been um, slightly different to what we thought you were. Now it seems like it's every man for himself. And for that reason, I think the public may see you as untrustworthy. I'm really sorry. You chose Jack. The housemate deemed the least trustworthy is Jack. Nick is next. He must decide which housemate is the most ungrateful for the experience. Chloe, Jack or Harry. She is grateful for the experience in ways that you don't express enough, but I'm going to say, Harry, sometimes you lie around a bit and sometimes you do complain and sometimes you get angry and sometimes you say you want to leave, like everyone does in here. But just out of those three names, I think maybe you're the person that I would say maybe would come across the most ungrateful. You chose Harry, the housemate deemed to be the most ungrateful for the experience is Harry. Throughout the day, the housemates have raised a total of £5,400. The price for now stands at £51,300. Coming up, it all kicks off. Harry, how dare you? How fucking dare you? I'm walking away, Harry, because I can't be bothered to argue with you. Away you go. Harry, act your age. You're a child. How would you feel if someone did that to you and me we were arguing? Oh, I don't care! As time ticks by, be prepared for highly offensive language, including intemperate discussion of mental health issues, which some viewers may find offensive. Eleven or eight p.m. It's been five minutes since housemates completed the viewers' online poll task. Are you OK, Jack? No, I'm fucking not. I'm so sorry. No, I don't mind you picking me, but I feel them comments are just, like, unfair. Can I, I, really can I just defend myself there, then? If that's how I've seen it, and that's, and that's how the public's voted, there must yeah, be a little bit no, of but the public can vote. the public can vote for me being untrustworthy. I accept that. But the fact that I've looked after you, and, and you're still saying it towards you, I've been like that. OK, please tell me how you've looked after me. Twice I could have fucking shit you over and I didn't. Twice. Listen, Jack, people who do things and then keep throwing it back in your face, it's not worth doing it. No, 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 there's a worth... difference. No, 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 do you know why I'm throwing it back? Because you keep saying that I'm, I'm, not, I'm this, I'm that, and I'm thinking, well, hang on I a minute. I think you've changed, and obviously the public do, because you got voted least and trustworthy. Well, they can That's do. That's not my... I got the question... I got the answer right. No, 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 I'm you did. I'm sorry that I had to no, answer that. No, no, I'm sorry that I had to no. choose you. you I'm sorry right. that the public think you... that. No. I'm sorry that I no, think that. No, no, That's it. The public can think what they want. Yesterday, when you said I was a game player, that comment hurt. After I'd after I wrote zero. So how... Jack, oh, you. do you not realise? Harry, Jack. Harry, don't get involved. I'm getting involved. Harry, don't get involved. Still, I changed it. Still, I do you not realise oh, that the person This is, what, this is where she pisses me off. Harry, come away. Jack, I didn't mean what? Are we all about to... Harry, I'm having a discussion. You do this when people talk over you. I'm talking to her. Let me have a discussion. I'll get involved. No, no, you're come away. I'm having a you don't like it when people do this. Come away. Come away. Harry, what do you do when people do this to you? I'm not letting you get away from the situation. Harry, I'm talking. I'm talking. Okay, you talk then. I'll interject Walk away, Harry. Harry, come walk away. Because you do this, Harry. But Harry, you're contradicting yourself now. You're contradicting yourself. You're getting involved. No, you're, you're getting, getting involved. involved. You're getting involved. I'm just going to sit and Why watch. are you laughing? I'm having a serious conversation. What, I about can something? sit on the sofa wanted. But Harry, how laughing? dare you? Can how I? fucking dare you, Harry? Oh, Gills, come on now. Fuck come it. on. How dare Can't you? I apologise for speaking like that to you. I didn't mean to. Don't, I'm no. having a go at you because this is what I'm you do to other people. Harry. I'm sitting on Joe, can I just say something? Can I just say something? Just chill out for 10 minutes. I will 10 do. or 15 minutes. I will do, but that's but, an absolute yeah, no, joke. Don't worry about I'm trying to have a conversation with Chloe. I know. Like... Don't worry about Harry. Don't worry about Harry. Just you and Chloe sort out your differences later on when it's all chilled out. I don't have any differences. I just want to get on my chest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Friends. That's what I'm saying. Look, I didn't agree with Jack. I just wasn't our argument to come in on. Do you know exactly. what I mean? It's no one's no, argument. it was not, but yeah. I'm Chloe. saying, I'm Chloe. explaining it logically. The person who you're closest to in the house is the answer. I know, but you just got involved when you have a go at Chloe. everyone for doing that to yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a hypocrite. I don't give a shit, yeah? But I'm explaining. Jack's having a go at Chloe. Chloe can stick up for herself. So 
Just, just realise what you've done. I'm not. Yeah, I do. Just realise what you've done after everything you've ever said. Don't be like that, Nick. What? I know. Don't. Don't want you two to fall out over there. Don't be like that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't fall out over it. I'm just saying to you. You looked awful then because of everything you've ever said in the whole house. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. I never do. This I don't give a shit. Harry, do you not consider being rude, though, when I'm having no. a discussion with Chloe? Um, I didn't say nothing. No, but you were I trying said, to... I said, can I say something no. after? No, you I tried said, to interject, and then you were pulling faces I to said, try and wind me up. I don't see... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jack, come away. Come away. Jack just wanted to express something. And he can express himself all he want. I just yeah, he could, but without myself, people getting fucking involved. I can bold. express myself by sitting on the sofa right there. How would you feel if someone did that to you and me and we were arguing? Oh, I don't care. Yeah, you, you do. do. Do you every care? Every time. Every time. Do to you. Harry, every time you have a go at me, if okay. I say something, every Jack, okay. Jack, leave okay. it. Jack, leave it. Your voice is louder than mine, Jack. Okay. Jack, leave it. What is wrong with you? You're so infuriating. Lots of things are wrong with me. I'm a fucking psychopath. Get over it. <laughs> Lol. You can't blame it on that every time, I've Harry. I've got issues. You can't blame your issues I'm for everything. I'm blaming it on it. I'm blaming on it. I'm accepting For everything you do. You psycho. slam something, I've got issues. You do something, I've got issues. You can't blame I've your issues on everything. I've got issues. I'm I don't care. I'm mentally insane. Who gives a fuck? La, 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 la. Twelve eleven a.m. Danny is alone in the kitchen. Game playing. Jack, Nick, Joel and Harry are in the sky room. I'm just a bit disappointed with you tonight, Harry, that's all. I felt like you were doing things purposely just to... I'm a bit disappointed with you in some things, but I can't voice my opinions to get offended. No, 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 that's, 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 bu that's bullshit again. I was having a conversation okay, with... No, 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 every time, Harry, I've respected and listened to everything you have to say. Harry, I listen to every single point. Harry, this is why, listen. I respect you, everything you do, every decision you make in this house, completely respect. However, I was talking to Chloe this evening, and you knew I was talking to seriously, and then you came in, you tried to... And after I then politely said to you, please don't, and then you were putting smug faces, you were sat there trying to wind me up, trying to gauge your reaction. When you're angry, Harry, you know you were. You're doing it now, you're doing it now. You know you were. When you're pissed off, I'm, Harry, concerned about you. I'm not like, oh, let's ride her further to make more entertainment like you were doing. We're, we're okay. going to go down and do... No, no, please, please, stay. No, no, I literally want no, to No, 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 I'd rather, I'd rather you stay so I can... Oh. Like genuinely yeah. voice a, a He'd rather thing, you yeah. say so. He's got witnesses oh, to God. his opinions. Didn't but this is what I mean. Why are you acting like a two-year-old? You, you, you I'm are. six. Yeah, but you're, what is wrong with you? Why are you doing that? Why, Why are you are doing, doing that? it? Because Jack, are you I doing told it just you. to purposely? Yeah, but what I mean is, like today, just like on you the say chair, you predict everything that happens in this house when you go in the diary room and slag everybody off. I don't slag people off in there. You can't voice it to people's faces, no. Well, I do voice every opinion to people's faces. Just like everybody can't voice their opinions to your face without you get offended. No, there's a difference. You think you're far too good to be nominated, Jack. No, there's a complete difference in that. I don't Is think there? I'm far too good to be nominated. If people want to give genuine reasons, I accept that. But No, you, n and never have I ever seen you accept genuine reason in this house. That's because no one's given me genuine reasons. OK. Can you hear him? Yeah, oh, my... She's just gone up there to piss him off when she knows he's upset. And he, if anyone ever did that to her... How dare she after she kicks off, right, when everyone does this to her, do you know what I mean? She's literally, she's literally trying to get Jack to lose his fucking mind over there. No, I think what she wants is she wants a reaction from Jack. Yeah. Yeah. But if we look for a reaction from Harry, leave me the fuck alone! <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> I stated that I am a hypocrite and everybody, you and you then then turned around and said that I'm using that to gain sympathy. No, I said I was a hypocrite because I believe in that argument for me getting involved between you and Chloe, I was a hypocrite because I stand up for the fact that other people shouldn't get involved in people's arguments. Exactly, but when but I asked I you to stop, you didn't. You, when I asked you to stop, you didn't. When you were more than willing to sell Chloe up the river for eight grand and then change your mind because well, I fucking you thought didn't. other people Oh, this is wouldn't. a thing because I did it. Yeah, but I didn't yeah? do it. You wanted to sell your best mate, supposedly best. And I've said from day one. Oh, sorry, he's trying to shit on me again, wife, are we, Harry? I'm not you said you'd nominate Nick, so don't wife, fucking get off your high yeah, horse. Yeah, my wife is right. not in you this house. You said you'd nominate Nick, so get off I your high horse. I'm going to nominate done. Nick. And from yeah, day one, exactly. I've said nominate someone because so, you and my wife. So don't play that game. So don't play that game, and Harry. And even my well wife, done. if she was well in done. this house, she'd nominate I'm walking me away, Harry. Dickhead. Walk away because you can't win. Go on. 
I'm walking away, away Harry, because I can't be bothered to argue away with you. Away you go. Harry, act what? your age. You're a child. I am. I act like a fucking six-year-old, and I'm yeah. the first person Grow to up. admit that. Grow up. Away you go, Jack. Grow up. Bye. Go on. Harry. Go be mature somewhere else. Act your age. like a fucking sickhead. Well done. Do you want done. the last word? Well I'll done. give you the last word. You cause this. Last word. You cause this. Last word. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jack. Oh. Oh, oh, copying! Oh, yes, I'm going to copy everything you're a you fucking say, moron. have the last word, A Jack. fucking moron. Have the last word. She's a fucking Go moron. On. Unbelievable. Twelve forty-seven a.m. Nick is getting ready for bed. Go on, Nick. I'm going to sleep in here tonight, mate. I can't be bothered. Are you really? Yeah. Fucking hell. I just can't. I just don't want to argue. She's in the dining room now. I just don't want to argue. Mate, are you sure that's going to be the best thing? I just can't bear it, Danny. I well, just... I, mate, I totally understand, but, God, I think it'll cause even more uproar if you're up there. I know, mate. I feel trapped, Danny. I just want to get away for the night. I just want to... I think we're spending too much time together and it's making us argue. I just want to be on my own tonight. Do you know what, mate? Then, off, if she does say anything, then just tell her what exactly you just told me. Just say, I, I want to I be on my own tonight. Oh, well. There's I will. nothing wrong with that. Harry is in the daily room. Money is doing to this house what it does in everyday life. As I've always said, in here, it's a fishbowl inside a pressure cooker. So, what would happen in the outside world happens in here, but much faster. And money in this house is making people show their true colours. And it's a common attribute in the human race that we're all selfish fucking bastards. That's what it's doing to this house. It's turning us all into selfish bastards. Completely and utterly lost plot. Everyone does, but you just do things you don't mean. No, I meant it. It's okay. difficult to watch. I agree, it was difficult to watch because I'm overgrown. So, we ain't gonna argue about that, are we? So, why are we spirits? <laughs> today you annoy me, all day you annoy me. Why? It's feel like I'm standing on eggshells with you sometimes. I can just. This week, Chloe, Jack, Harry, and Sam all fierce the public vote. Who goes? You decide. From a landline call 090 204458 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. From a mobile call 65058 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. 
For Chloe, add or four. For Jack, add or nine. For Harry, add 16. For Sam, add 18. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. If you're watching on Catch Up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Real life best friends and impractical jokers get the band to going, all part of late night pranking over on Comedy Central next. Next year on Channel 5, we've got a load of cash bomb action to chat through in Big Brother's Bit on the Side. <laughs>